This shit is fucking crazy, bro. I just traveled across Canada. I have not slept in four days. And I still look pretty fucking good if you ask me. <laughs> Suck a motherfucker. Anyways, I have not slept in four days on a fucking bus. Across the entire country. And I told y'all that I was going to switch the game up. And switch up the environment. You know what I'm saying? Just ate something. Just chilling. Sipping. And plotting on the next move. Thinking about my next move in my thinking chair. Uh, See the water over there, no? Alright. Anyways, um, I got a lot of shit to upload. <laughs> a lot of crazy shit happened that you, I just have to, I gotta show y'all. <laughs> I gotta talk about it. Shit is crazy, bro. It truly is. See the devil? He attacks you the most. When you draw closer to God. So when you try to achieve your goals in life and you try to draw closer to God or better circumstances or try to escape out of, out of his grips when he's got you by the throat, when you pray, when you start going back to church, when you start trying to be a better person, that's when Satan is going to attack you with everything he's got and you're gonna wonder why the fuck is all this shit happening all of a sudden really fucking weird now that I'm all of a sudden trying to do the right thing and those things that I just mentioned and then all of a sudden you're under attack by family parents your mom your dad people are switching on you left right and center all of a sudden their fucking attitudes just shifted boom just like that and you don't know why and you can't figure it out there's some there's 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 things going on that we can't see. It's called spiritual warfare. And if you don't identify with that and you don't know what that is, then you have no way to defend yourself against it. And you have will have no fucking clue what's going on. You'll lose your mind, you'll become delusional and then the devil wins. But if you can keep your composure and identify what is happening and that it truly is an intentional attack from an outside entity that you cannot see, that is not in a physical form in this realm. You can't win. You can't win. You can't fight something like that. You, gotta, you can't fight something you can't see. You gotta know how it moves. You gotta know what its intention is or that there is an intention to begin with which is hard to comprehend considering we're talking about something we can't prove exists. But you need to start having faith and realizing there's shit going on that you can't see. It doesn't mean it doesn't fucking exist. People hate things they don't understand. People hate on people that they can't figure out. The devil attacks those that are close to God heavily those that have the wisdom and intelligence to escape the wrath of the devil and also save souls and lives on top of it and pull people out of the gutter with influential power wisdom and universal knowledge and I'm lucky to be blessed with those things and be that individual and that's why I'm still alive because I should have been dead a million fucking times already and I'm preserved for whatever reason now I don't have to say whatever reason because I know my purpose now it's fallen into a, in, into place without my permission regardless if I recognize what is happening or not it's out of my hands God had a plan and a purpose for me to use me to do great things and that's what I believe now and that's what I see and I didn't believe it at first it had to be shown to me but I'm just letting you know that devil's trying to kill me right now. <laughs> Been trying to kill me. 
been failing. The more that the devil throws at me, I just fucking inhale it, convert it into fucking energy, and then defeat my enemies with it. I just become stronger. Turning me into the fucking Hulk. The more shit that devil puts me through is just gonna make me stronger. There's two things that life can do. It can either make you or break you. That's, you just gotta learn how to convert that fucking pain, that depression, that anxiety, those losses into fucking gains, into power, into energy, into fight. Bring that fight back into you. I've lost it lots. Lost my fight in me, man. I needed to heal. You might be in that position where you need to just heal. And that's why you're heavily under attack. It's because the devil knows you're in a weak, vulnerable situation right now. And you need to do the right thing and just take a moment before you make your next decision and make your next step and calculate everything that you do. Take a break. Chill out. Stay away from people. Have some time to yourself. Heal. Go to the forest. Stay there for a couple of days. Get well. And then you can fight again. Get back in the ring. Cause, or if you don't give yourself that rest and that healing, you could fucking die. Or you could lose your mental stability and not be able to fight in this, in this game, you know what I mean? You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta find balance. And yeah, I'm having a beer. I had one beer. I haven't drinking in a fucking year. I earned that. I told myself if I can stop solid for a year, no excuses, not... Oh, I worked my ass off this week. I can have a beer on the weekend or, you know. Oh, well, I've done, you know, a couple months now. I think it's okay to have a, a beer. No, none of that shit. Those are all excuses. Fuck that. Weakness. Bullshit. Fuck that shit. But I said if I, I said if I can do a solid year, I can have myself a drink and be okay with that. I'm fine. Don't, you know, make any assumptions or, you know. Think the wrong things Pe People are just fucking weird You know what I mean They'll disregard the entire message that I just stated And they'll point out The fact that I'm having a beer like that Completely decredits any fucking thing that I just said Which is complete fucking blasphemy Which is just fucking stupidity To, a, to the fucking Furthest extent But anyways Small minded One minded track individuals You know what I mean they think like that. They don't see the bigger picture. They just see the small shit that's irrelevant. Anyways, east side I touched down. I got some videos to upload because shit just fucking switched on me hard. Really fucking hard, but all a part of the growth and development, man. All about being resilient. I'm gonna keep taking these losses and I'm gonna keep empowering people with them. So <laughs> that might mean some bad news for me because God might be like, all right, well, then you're going to have to take all the losses because you're the only one that's going to turn them into empowerment for people. And he needs me to do that. Now I got to take all the fucking losses. Fuck. I got to keep taking beatings to help other people. But that's what soldiers do. Frontline soldiers. I'm a frontline soldier. I'm Corey Resilient, a.k.a. Sincere Music. AKA I took a fucking beating in my life. AKA I'm turning that into positive somehow, some fucking way. AKA devil can't kill me, can't take me because it's up to God. And I'm fighting back and I'm winning because I'm not giving up. That's all you gotta do. Just keep going, you know what I mean? I'm uploading a video soon I just traveled across the fucking entire country a lot of shit happened I got a lot of stories for you guys the devil's trying to get at me hard but I knew that was coming I'm pretty sure I predicted in one of my videos nothing new <laughs>